welcome guys to my another unboxing video this time we are going to unbox Strongsy 3d printer and see what's inside of this one also I have another announcement for you guys um, this is my last time making a video in this room this is my room for the last four years and it is the time to say goodbye and move to the another house another state actually in um, United States so I'm a little bit um, emotional in this video because this is the last one in this room but you will see other videos upcoming after this one recorded in this room i'm still editing them but this video is actually the last video in this room where i lived for the last four years and i'm going to show you around what my room looks like and uh, how do i do all these videos let's continue opening this box Okay, when we open the Troxini XY2 Pro bag, we start with the head. There's a head coming in and we have the user's manual, instruction manual. It says behind it, it only requires three steps to finish the rest of the installation. And it has auto leveling, all metal, power recovery and broken metal detection, which you want in any 3D printer, which is awesome. And then next under it, we have the toolkit, the things that you need to assemble the 3D printer. And we have the micro SD reader with the micro SD on it. We have an extra nozzle to replace it. And the bolt-on tube connector, extra. And we have the USB cable as well. When we remove this one, we have the filament, extra filament to use, which is good. And when I remove this, we have the power cord and the spatula. It seems like they sent me a power cord for EU, EU plug, but I'm in the United States, so... This is not going to work for me and here we have the filament holder unit assembled as you can see right now this is the gantry of the 3d printer the H gantry everything is assembled in here as you can see it is all blue looks very similar to Creality Ender 3 Pro and there is here the auto leveling sensor and in here uh, filament broke detection system located so right in here they prepare a socket system where we will be able to plug everything with one cable we don't need to route all the cables to the motor which is good this is first time that i see on a 3d printer where i created a common socket for the connection of x motor x limit switch extruder motor and the filament detection limit switch which is good and the other connections for the auto level detection sensor and the extra heat related stuff are in here too i hope heating the extra will not cause a problem regarding these pins and the amp values that will go through these pins i hope this thing doesn't melt we will see how it's gonna turn out next when we remove things what we are seeing is uh the bottom assembly of the 3d printer here is a troxini bed that can be bendable like this as you can see this is the bottom of the 3d printer let's remove that as you can see guys when we remove it um everything is like well packaged and when we hold it up like that when we hold it up like that you can see the screen is located in here so it is for packaging purposes of course the screen is not going to be in there but you need to disassemble the screen from here uh, don't worry about it. As you can see, all the electronics are located at the bottom of the printer, well packaged. And we will see how it's going to work when we assemble this 3D printer. Okay, when we look at the package list, as you can see, everything that came out from the package is on top of my table. It is pretty straightforward. It requires very few steps to assemble. And we will see how it's going to turn out in the next video where I'm going to assemble this 3D printer and show you guys how to do that my eyes uh, the desk that I'm always making my unboxing video and these are the lights that are in here and this is the other light that I have in here in that room my bathroom is located in general I push my chair to over there to make the videos and this is my workbench where I do the most of the stuff like robotics related and that's my shelf where I store my 3d printers and everything and you can see like there's the storage any cubic i3 mega in here i move most of my 3d printers out since i'm moving i start to pack stuff and this is the workbench section i start to learn how to play piano and this is the electronic version of it um and my clothes and in this room as i said there's a bathroom and that's where i sleep 
that's where I sleep my bedroom but we are not going in there and I have a balcony over here which is an awesome view but today is like a night time so I won't be able to show you guys but this is the background of the where I make my videos so this is like quick tour of my room it seems like inside this 3d printer box there's a hat coming in too I hope you guys like this video if so click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel this is the unboxing video of Troxini XY2 Pro and it looks awesome and we will see how it's gonna 3d print things it says in here it takes only three steps to finish the rest of the installation so we will see how it's gonna turn out when we are doing the review video I hope you guys watch that one too click the subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell down below so that you can get the updates for my new videos see you guys in the next one